What's up guys, Mr. Sackler here. This is how you come into computer app life when you come to class. As soon as you arrive to class, you line up on the wall and wait for me to greet you by the door. When you come in, the first thing that you do is mark yourself here on the iPad. If you're the first one and notice that everyone is already marked present, then you can read the sign and realize that your job is to mark everyone absent. So you go through and you go absent, 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 mark everyone absent all the way down. Make sure to mark yourself here and then hit save. If you don't hit save, Infinite Campus will lose the data. And even if you're here, you'll be marked absent. If you're on time to class, you mark yourself P for presence. If late, you mark yourself T for tardy. If you are late one time, you owe me five minutes at the end of class to tell me why. If you're late two times in a row, then you get a phone call home. And if you're late three times in a row, you get a late detention. And as a reminder, if you forget to hit save, you may be marked absent. Always hit save. This sheet will tell you what to do. Time to remind you guys about consequences. If I talk to you one time in class, you get a warning. If you talk to you two times in class, you're going to be told to go take a break where I'll point to you and point to you to go do that one of those blue chairs over there. For all the time that you are in that chair, you then have to owe me that many minutes at the end of class in order to tell me what happened. So if you're there for two minutes, you owe me two minutes to explain what you did, why you did what you did. If I talk to you three times in class, then we're going to go to a severe clause, which depending on what you did will either be a phone call home or potentially getting sent to the air room. If it's bullying, probably the air room. If it's disruption, probably parent phone call. Depends on the situation. And every day you start with nothing. So it's a daily basis. If you had two, you got to take a break. Next class, you come in with nothing. If you ever need to unlock my iPad because you don't know the password, the password is hidden right over here. Not really hidden, but it's 9663. So you can tap on the iPad, go to 9663, and you can get into the iPad. One of the most important routines in my class is hand raising. So you will raise your hand and wait to be called on before speaking. The only exception to this is when I ask everyone to respond and then everyone can respond. But I specifically have to say that. And one more thing, if you are late to class and have a pass from a teacher, you can mark yourself present. But if you don't have a pass, then you mark yourself tardy. Next up is my reward system, point coupon. Point coupons range in value from 25 points, 5 points, 20, 10. They have all sorts of different values. And there are five ways you can get a point coupon. You can answer a question that I give you with a wrong answer because that's going to help us learn what not to do. Very important. Or you can answer a question with a right answer. You can also get one if you're helping another student and you were never told to help them and I catch you. Or if you ask a great open-ended question in class relating to something we're talking about that really gets a good discussion or thinking going. The final way to get a point coupon is if you can explain what we're learning today according to the objective. So every day when you guys come in, before you guys go and sit down, you should Look at the objective on the left-hand side to see that you will be able to explore routines and gain exposure to types of problems. And if I turn this board off and you can still tell me what the objective is, you get a point coupon. And if you can explain why you think we're learning it, you might even jump straight to a candy prize. All right, final routine for this video. Let's do this. Yeah, that was too much energy. Anyway, on the right-hand side of the board will always be your do now. There will always be three steps to tell you what to do. You should start the do now the second you guys come into class. To define what it means to come into class, if you're standing right here, you're not in class yet. Now you're in class. If I come into class after greeting people by the door, and I notice that you're talking to a friend or not starting your do now, you guys will jump to your first consequence, which will be a warning. If you want to talk to your friend, I get it. Talk to your friend. But do it in the hallway before you come in. The second you are in this white space, you can get a warning. If you like need a second to catch up, catch up with your friend. But you're going to be doing that in the hallway before you come in. Yeah, got it? Okay, great, thanks. Thank you for watching. These are my routines and expectations. Oh, right, the camera's over here.